Solar sector boundary crossing, high latitude auroras are possible on January 21st, when Earth crosses through a fold in the heliospheric current sheet. This is called the solar sector boundary crossing, and NOAA forecasters estimate a 25% chance of polar geomagnetic storms when it occurs. Aurora fascinating phenomena of Jupiter's moons, on January 5th, Earth passed directly between the Sun and Jupiter. Astronomers call this an opposition because the Sun and Jupiter were on opposite sides of the sky. Jupiter's opposition is always an opportunity for beautiful pictures of moons transiting Jupiter, sometimes directly in front of their own shadows, says John H. Rogers, Jupiter Section Director of the British Astronomical Association. Observers have produced some fine examples from the opposition earlier this month. Some of the best are collected here. Transits around opposition are beautiful, but something even more rare and special is coming this fall. In autumn, Jupiter's moons will begin a series of mutual eclipses and occultations, Rogers says. The satellites will crisscross in the sky, dipping in and out of one another's shadows. Predictions by G must have been posted by the British Astronomical Association computing section at these URLs. The last time these mutual events occurred, in 2009, observers were able to produce the first high-resolution movies of moons eclipsing moons. No doubt some of you will be able to do even better this time around. Stay tuned. Real-time space weather photo gallery false AURORAS, lately, in communities around the Arctic Circle, people have been seeing colorful lights in the sky. Although they look like auroras, they are not. Alexander Kuznetsov photographed this apparition over Rovaniemi in the Finnish Lapland on January 17. They are light pillars, caused by ice crystals in the air, which intercept urban lights and spread them into colorful columns. No solar activity is required for the phenomena. The only ingredients are ice and light pollution. The temperature was dashed 27 degrees C perfect weather for these to occur, says Kuznetsov. I have seen light pillars before, but never so many. Although the pillars were clearly visible to the unaided eye, he decided to use a 20-second exposure to create a dramatic trail of smoke from the foreground chimneys. The long exposure accentuated slight differences in the hue of city lights, creating a truly polychromatic image.